Matthew Frostler, the 25-year-old former Wits fullback, starting for the 12th time tonight in his 14th appearance of the season. And William was uh, perhaps some detractors, or were some detractors, when Kevin Johnson was appointed as coach of the Kaiser Chiefs. And I know that many people were saying, well, what did he really achieve in his career so far? If you look at his bio on Transfer Market, you'll see there's actually no trophies at all. But uh, he did well in the uh, Confederation Cup with uh, Platinum Stars up in Rustenburg in the day. And uh, I'll tell you what, there's nothing wrong with his record at Kaiser Chiefs at the moment. Listen, if anything that has happened here, I think it's the first time this season that we've seen uh, Kaiser Chiefs being able to notch uh, three games back to back in this fashion and uh, today looking to make it his fourth. But it's, it's a big uh, wave of relief to, that has come up with his uh, presence and uh, we can only hope that he continues with that uh, same vein of form in leading Kaiser Chiefs going forward. And uh, we wait then to see what happens come next season. I'm fascinated to see how Kaiser Chiefs are going to line up today. We do expect the width to come from Dupria and from Pule Mordi. And uh, some of the pundits may be suggesting that with Yusuf Martin and Sabomisenium Dedwa playing in the pocket, that uh, Gauteng Kapili and Morbo will play a little bit closer to an attacking midfield role than uh, dropping back as much as he had done recently and uh, give more support to the Colombian Jason Gonzalez, who only starts his fourth match today. No Christian Soili, the man from the Democratic Republic of Congo, is on the bench. No, it's in Castillo either in the midfield. Listen, that, that for me makes a lot of sense about you no know, uh, playing a little bit higher. If you got Sponsinim Tetra and uh, Yusuf, um, you, there's no business of you know, also joining them in that middle of the park. In fact, if anything, they need a little bit of uh, power going forward in support of Gonzalez. It's a nice bit of cover from Sipasaki and Tia Tia, who plays against his former side tonight. Left-sided fullback, 27-year-old former Chiefs player, starting for the seventh time this evening. Now his work cut out for him. He's up against not only Reeve Frostler, but he's up against uh, Ashley Dupria as well. He gets the opportunity with Mabocha getting injured. It's a big injury, obviously, uh, the knee and the ankle, so it might take some time before he bounces back into action. So, Tiantia is experienced. I'm sure he'll be able to take care of the job. Big challenge from Kize on um, Gauteng Gipili and Mobo. Give us the first free kick of the evening. Referee Pilang Nkosi Kumalo in charge of this one. Goalkeeper Ronaldo Lina, former Cape Town Spurs player, played most recently at uh, Marisburg United though. Easily dealt with the uh, free kick from Amakosi, knocked forward by Frosler once again. Headed away by Tia Tia. Nice exchange of passes from Babina Noko. Amahelo Sitole. Nice stop from Sitole, but uh, Dupree has far too much skill to allow that to escape from him. Now an opportunity for Pule Mori. Interesting to see Dupree and Mori on the same side because Mori would ordinarily be wide on the left. Nicely away by Lina. Cut out by Mokocho. I continue to sing the praises of Kamahela Mokocho coming back to South Africa last season and perhaps a struggle to settle into Sekakuni United. But I'll tell you what, he's playing some phenomenal football. He's the holding midfielder. Good ball here to Ohizu. Four goals a season for the Nigerian. Could be more. Yep. If he wasn't that wasteful in front of goals. Were you surprised to see Jamie Weber left on the bench tonight? Um, in fact, uh, I had to pose that question to the coach uh, just to find out uh, what would have been the reason. And there's a few players, Cardoso is another, that also have been laid, left out. And uh, the uh, games that have been playing back to back, but also which includes a lot of travels, have uh, taken a toll on those players. So the coach decided to refresh the starting lineup just to give uh, new energy into the team. Because the second Cooney United, you know, at home, not only playing domestic football, they are in the participating in the Cap Confederation Cup. And, uh, the travel is quite extensive, playing against a side from Morocco, from Congo and uh, Stade Malien in Mali. That's quite a lot of travel. 
Indeed, which uh, for Siema, he's uh, expressing uh, his gratefulness at uh, being able to be in this situation, appreciating Sundown's effort in being able to manage the uh, domestic uh, games and the travels into the continent. So he says it's very, very difficult. Hardly have time to train or rest. It's all about arriving, preparing for the next game, which will come in two days after landing. So it's a, it's a very challenging uh, situation to be able to manage. That's where he is right now. He's growing. There's a, yeah, certainly is, a Siema. It's a big ask for him at uh, Babina Noko. And there's another player whose absence has allowed the 26-year-old Ryan Bartman, a former Paper Moya and All-Stars uh, centre-back, to come in and get some game time. It's only his fourth start of the season, Ryan Bartman, alongside of uh, Trezor Tibuabwa. It's, it's quite a new combination because you normally have Cardoso and Edwin Jima. But uh, it's been a rough year for Edwin Jima, the Ghanaian, has lost a number of family members and uh, so there is a bereave family bereavement and may he find uh, some solace in being with his family at this time imagine in three months he's lost he has lost three members of his family he's dead his two brothers and uh, i'm sure that must be taking its toll on the young man and which is why the, the club has allowed him to go away and be able to mourn with his family United with some good pressing, but I do like the organization of the defense of Amakosi at the moment. They are shuffling across quite nicely, looking at where um, Jetro finds himself when they uh, attack Sekakuni United. And Yusuf Mart will play just a little between Jetro and Nobo. Ball won nicely back by Jetro. They look like a handball, in fact. Awkward bounce of the ball. Yeah. I think the Gonzalez is the player that found himself uh, having to handle the ball. Not deliberately, but still it's a handball. Yeah, Sekukuni are really recycling that ball beautifully. At the moment, it's just Kaz Chiefs uh, chasing the game. Though Sekukuni are not threatening the goal area of Kaz Chiefs, but still, being able to recycle that ball healthily, like they're doing right now, can eventually cause Chiefs to lose their shed. Spoken about the opportunity that Ryan Bartman has been given to start for Sekakuni United. Let's chat about Bruce Bavuma, you being a former international goalkeeper. Bruce Bavuma has been given an opportunity to play for Kaiser Chiefs. What about uh, three victories in a row, three clean sheets in a row, nine points, no goals conceded, and Bruce Bavuma uh, gets a chance to start again tonight. It's uh, yeah, there's a couple of good stories in this match. For a goalkeeper who's not as young as he was a few years back when he first broke into the senior team. And uh, he's done very well. Remember, he did very well in the Champions League where they eventually lost in the final. He's gained some experience along the way. So that's why it's no stranger for him to come in and fit in like a glove in this setup. Moby with a touch showing why he's in the national squad that has been chosen by Mr. Hugo Bruss, the uh, veteran Belgian coach for the African Cup of Nations, which will start in uh, a couple of weeks' time in the Ivory Coast. The pressure exerted by Mtetwa. Good cover as well by Bartman. A lot of people consider Mtetwa as a more defensive midfielder, but he's got such a buzz of energy about him that given the opportunity, he always chases all the way into the attacking third and uh, he really covers that area, almost like a box-to-box -box type of midfielder. Incredible break we're going to have after the end of tomorrow with Cape Town Spurs playing Cape Town City. First corner kick of the match goes to Amakorsi. It's a little on the deep side. Chase on for the left back, Sofiso Clanti. But uh, no, no domestic football after tomorrow. And League and Cup until the 13th of February, William Shongwe. And uh, have you booked your tickets for some uh, exclusive holiday? <laughs> some uh, wonderful place? <laughs> I, I wish that was the case. Uh, but you know what? There's still a lot that needs to be done locally um, opportunities new opportunities in life when time of this nature gets given it's there to be used Kibaba with a foul on Gonzalez now they are 
some opportunities and uh, I know the Disky challenge will uh, continue. I'm still trying to find out exactly where, what type of a striker is Gonzalez. Is it one that the uh, player with his back to goal because he looks like a big boy can hold on to the ball? Is it one of those that plays on the shoulders of defenders where he's waiting for a long pass or played over here? And uh, that will be revealed in no time just what kind uh, of uh, an impact is he bringing. Yeah, it does like, look like a rather big fella. Free kick to be taken then by the left footed Sofiso Flanti. Remember him making his name more at Bidvest uh, Witzen and Amazulu, then went to Swallows for a spell. Rather wasteful effort there from the former international. Sliding challenge from Nico Mobi. Quite interesting when the national squad was announced. William Shongwe and uh, no Kaiser Chiefs plays at all. And uh, I, would I would suggest, not surprisingly, the um, number of uh, Memelody Sundowns players in the uh, squad for AFCON 2024. And uh, just one player represented here today in this match, and that's a Nico Mobi, the uh, right back for Sepikuni United. Way here by Ryan Bartman. It's a very interesting header as well, and a bit of pace involved too. He's a decent cross, doesn't get it as Babuma almost gets his first touch of the game after 12 minutes. The speed of Bunkwana is unbelievable. When he, get, when he picks up the ball down the wide sides, he really does a good job of getting past the fullback, which is the strength of any winger, the speed. And maybe he needs to improve a bit more when he delivers the cross. It must be to somebody in that box but this time it was aimlessly played across which made it easier for Bruce to pick it up. Former player at Platinum City Rovers in the first division when he was recognized as a potential contributor to Babina Noko has scored two goals a season as uh, Mokwana most recently against Supersport United in a 2-1 victory at home. Interesting for coach Siema in domestic football, a win against Chipper United by two goals to nil. And uh, a loss against Amazulu most recently uh, 17 days ago when last Sekigun United were in action on the domestic front. So a win and a loss. This man's very exciting. Usimusi Mube has got some good skills about him. Needed a follow-up touch to get him. Yusuf Mart has done brilliantly. So for that matter has in Lobo. Ogizu, good touch again from Mube. Not quite what he was looking for. Mobo preferred the ball on the ground, he didn't get it. I think the Queen United will have to build all over again. Hartman to Makocho. Lina also. And he has. Uh, Played four matches up to this date, five today in the DSTV Premiership. Double left for Badri or Badra Ali Sankare, the former JDR Stars Ivorian goalkeeper. Ohizu. It's a nice little switch because there is a bit of space on the left hand side, although not utilized by Nube that time. I think that the support from Kamahelo Sitole wasn't quite there when he needed it because he overran the ball a little to the 26 year old former JDR Stars midfielder Kamahelo Sitole. It's an interesting tactical battle at the moment. It is, if anything, uh, that I've picked up already is both teams are playing the high press. They're not allowing the other to build up. I mean, the strength of Kai Seals is what Kevin is trying to build up. Uh, prepare a team that can play football when in possession, even defensively. But Sekukuni is of the same mold as well. So both teams are just uh, neutralizing one another in that middle of the park. But naughty from Mobo. Back of the number 12s. Free kick by Bartman's already been taken. Forced uh, Clanty into conceding a corner. The first for Sekakuni United on the night.
players tracking back in defence for Sekakuni United. And Kize being fought on to the attack, I must say. Bruce Bavuma all in white today. 28-year-old, as you said, uh, been in the junior ranks for some time. Hasn't had much game time at all. Gets a chance here for the fourth time this season in the DSTV Premiership. Needs the header on the ball. That was very, very close. He's going in his own net, I thought, from Yusuf Mart. Good pressure in front of him. Oh, it's just behind him. I think it was Chibaba. Might have been a close thing, but they'll breathe a sigh of relief that there's no damage done. Half an hour into this match, it'll be 300 minutes that Kaiser Chiefs haven't uh, conceded a goal. A good ball in, and over the top is the header from Bartman. Nice delivery from Sitole. It's interesting when you look at the run of Kevin Johnson. He started with an away victory against uh, Golden Arrows. That's uh, not what Kaiser Chi supporters, neither the coach, would want to see. A little bit of indecision at the back, um, including Bruce Bavuma. They give a corner away, and that's uh, not cool. In the meantime, Mube. Nobody really arriving in time. Clanty will defend rather comfortably. The high press I was talking about, which uh, Sukuni did apply, putting a bit of pressure on the defenders and um, Tetua, um, giving a, a back pass to the goalkeeper that was a little bit too hard for Vuma to control. And also taking into account that uh, the uh, top of the grass is getting a little bit uh, wet right now as we get into the night. So that's another effect that might just be a problem for the place. Frost has done well here. Can you pre to Peta? What oh, great defending on the near post by Lina. At that moment, Gonzalez is waiting and screaming for the ball to be cut back to him. And Dupria didn't took, uh, should I say, maybe realize the opportunity available. That was a great, that, for me, that will go as a chance missed. And Tia Tia tries to go for post. Uh, the goal, and it's the post. Not bad from the fullback. Pressure hasn't been relieved yet. It might very well be done now by Zafiso Klanti. Suddenly the game has just seemed to have picked up a little in its pace. Even Simango, you remember him from TX Galaxy. Tetra. Ufuma. Tetra. It's the second time. It's the second time. I think Wuma there can take the blame for this one. You cannot pass into that center. That's where the pressure is. And uh, you must understand that if you make a mistake from there, this is basically how that ball skimmed the upright and bounced back. Kaz just can't come out. Great work done as a, by Sekukune. Fourth corner of the match for Sekukune United. Only 19 minutes into the game. No goals at the moment in this final clash of 2023 for these two sides. Easily tapped away from the danger zone by Pule Modi, former Arrows star. Really had a tremendous season in the previous campaign. Recognised by Amakosi and signed by them. Mube gets away from Mart initially. So Mube! That could go in, you know. It hasn't. The hole of the ball did not cross the hole of the line, in my opinion. And they're tracking back defensively now, Kaiser Chiefs. Sekakun United on fire. Nice shot on target from Sitole. Sekakun United, the home side here. Wow. Are asking the questions. Wow. That's the kind of game that we'd like to see. Pressure. You can see she's breathing on the sideline there heavily. And it bounces off Dover. And. Uh, Yes, clearly nowhere near the goal line or over the goal line. Recovers beautifully is that Vuma to be able to push that ball out back into play. But it's the Kukuni that are really on the front foot and Kaisers are making all the mistakes in trying to build up. And 
Somebody must tell them, not yet. So Kukuna really playing into their faces, so maybe hold it for now, bypass that middle. And don't forget, Sekakuni United come into this match in 14th position on the table. He's four points ahead of Richards Bay FC, who had that phenomenal victory over Super Sports United earlier today. Was that sending off of Ocon if you missed that encounter? And uh, before half time, Super Sports United leading by a goal to nil, but down to 10. Richards Bay FC took full advantage to ease themselves away from Cape Town Spurs at the bottom of the table. It was a really good victory for Richards Bay FC. Three goals, something that I've seen in ages. Obviously, like you say it, I think, I guess uh, the uh, inferior numerical uh, disadvantage uh, the Super Sport is what allowed the Richards Bay to really take full opportunity. Dupria, leanable punch. Makwana with a pickup. Chiefs have it backed up very nicely with Pule Modi. Modi looking to turn back to him, Tetra. Makwana's all over him. And the fans are loving that. The fans in the colour of red, that is, Babina Noko supporters. Yusuf Martz, almost in a similar position, where he scored against Orlando Pirates last season. Pass, uh, completed pass rate, pretty much even between the two sides, but the accuracy better from Sekakuni United, and the possession pretty much shared between the two sides. Dupria gets into space, Bartman will clear. Mokwana, Mobby. And the referee wants to have a little chat to Chlanti. You are very late, Chlanti. Lunges forward, misses the ball altogether. In the meantime, Uzumuzi Mube. Another good shot from Sitole. It's almost like he's been given some free space and he's finding it. And Kaiser Chief's not really picking up those late runs from the 26 year old. He's playing nicely at the moment. Picks it up. Has time, thinks about it. But only if he had looked up. Just for a second, he'll have uh, picked up Gonzalez. It's a good shot, it's a good save, and he piles it away from the oncoming. This one nearly got him into trouble, but great recovery. Yeah, Dove caught completely by surprise. And so for that matter, Bruce Buvuma, who reacted the quickest out of anybody else on the pitch and scrambled the ball away on the line, but I don't think there was any suggestion that uh, the whole of the ball had crossed the whole of the line. Nice work done by Gonzalez, picked up by March, now Dupria. Is there an elbow in the face? Well, the decision's gone the other way. Gonzalez claiming a foul. Maybe there's a bit of a blood injury on the 24-year-old Colombian's face. There's uh, Trezor Chibaba. 25-year-old, used to play at Red Arrows, the Air Force side in uh, the Zambian Premier League. Gonzalez looks to be okay. Yeah, if only it, the ref had actually seen it, it, should, it could have been a foul. Should have been a foul for Kyle Chiefs because there was a outstretched hand of Trezo into the face. Of Gonzalez. Yeah, and it's a facial foul, and it's a, it's a free kick for Kaiser Chiefs, and a, and a bookable offence at that. Mokwana makes a good run. Dove clears. Mart. Tetra. Mart again. Loving the wide play here. Pule Mordi. Dupriya's in space. Punched by Lina. Offside anyway. Still excellent goalkeeping. Came made it seem that he was going to punch it away. Must have been marginal at that. Without a doubt. Excellent goalkeeping is what I can pick from all that mess. Just 
with one offside in the match so far. Here's the Kaiser Chiefs player. Sitole. Mobi. Frustle level clear. Nice little touch from uh, Dupria. Have a, they do have a strong right hand side, the two Kaiser Chiefs. At the moment, they're preparing the left with Modi. Puma almost looked as if he was uh, sort of in semi panic mode to try and get that ball away. There was pressure from Busi Busi Mube. Now Dupria. Support from Frostler, but he goes the other way. Clunty. No way past Mobby. The Chiefs are just slowly but surely starting to exert a little bit of pressure. Nice touch there from Gonzalez. Nice little touch in there from Modi as well. And for the second time, in moves on that left hand side, in Nico Mobi tidies up. You're beginning to see the impact of uh, Gonzalez playing with his back to goal. Held that ball beautifully to allow. Um, uh, Modi to get a little bit closer so you can see now that's just the type of strike that is but at some stage it's going to try and turn or get the reverse pass from the oncoming midfielders that hasn't been the case yeah that's where the importance of uh, Gordon Gupili and Mobo surely has to be and if Mtet was playing slightly more attacking then here's a role to play as well to Priya in the meantime near post knocked away by Chibobwa Modi gets there first Mokwana back defensively this is Dupria. Oh, lovely skip of the ball, Dupria! Oh, my word. Complete miscue. What was Simango. that? I mean, that ball rolls into you. You don't stand. You actually take one step forward so that your upper body is a little bit forward. Then that helps you to hook the ball towards the net. Oh. Man, that upper body tells you the story. He's way up there. Now the fans are celebrating behind the goal of Ronaldo Lina. But uh, no celebration for the 26-year-old for Matisse Galaxy defender. Clunty defending against Ohizu. At the moment, it, uh, Kaiser Chiefs have uh, just eased in front a little. Indeed. As far as possession and good quality of time on the ball after those little scares that we had. They look way better than they started. And they're beginning to create moments of their own in that they can it, which are now beginning to force uh, the uh, Sekunkuni defenders to play a bit more on the back foot. On the Cape Town City man, Ed Milson. Mozambique by birth. Second touch for him. Clanty Mark drops back into a centre back role. It's a lovely ball as well. Frostler, Dupria, in fact it's not, it's from Tetwa. Could have been either one of the two Stenobosch players and that's a nice little ball to Dupria. Modi was looking interested. The ball's going to fall to a second CUNY United player, that's good work done by Ohizu. Now Mube, trying to play almost a la TX Galaxy out of a defensive position, that hasn't quite worked out for Babina Noko. Pune Modi. Mobo. Well yeah, read. Trying to do something clever, and it was really well read by Makocho. I continue to uh, sing his praises. So Makocho, a big opponent. Mobo will try again, so will Modi. Got a bit of space here, so is uh, Yusuf Mart for that matter. For Kaiser Chiefs, stolen away though. It's fabulous work done. By Babina Noko. Oh, he's looking for support to Mokwana, who had done all the hard work prior to that. Offers himself again, but at the moment, Sekakuni United going in reverse gear, even more so now with Ntia Tia's pass to Lina. Half an hour played, and Kaiser Chiefs just starting to apply a little bit of a throttle. 
Well, this is after going through some turbulence. Oh, certainly, I mean, that shot uh, came back off the post from Dia Dia, followed up by that uh, little hash between Bavuma and Dove, which uh, Bavuma had to tidy up. Oh, it was a little bit of a scare for Kevin Johnson's side. But it has propelled them to much more positive play at the moment. Clunty. If anything would have uh, maybe be, been be compared to the past was that Kaya Chiefs in such moment they'll concede and then thereafter they'll be chasing the game, which makes it very hard. Well, quite a header that Gonzalez is looking for. It was interesting the conversation we had in the car. Let's pause that thought for a moment as Tetra finds himself in a little bit of space. Nice carry from him. No ball. It's good cover in the holding midfield again. In fact, I think it was Bartman who got a vital touch for Sekakuni United. Just getting back to our discussion in the three-hour drive from Jovic to Pulkwani about uh, what sort of style Kevin Johnson brings to Kaiser Chiefs. Is it a style that is acceptable by the management and uh, by the fans, more importantly, I suppose? But what does Kevin Johnson bring? Does it Has the style changed from the days of Nseki and uh, of uh, his predecessor? You know what? Sometimes you want to play a certain style, but... Uh, Unfortunately, the team maybe is not in the same uh, wavelength uh, as the coach. But I think what has been more important for Kevin is just to help the team start winning games. And uh, talking to him earlier, he expressed that clearly that right now for him to try and uh, implement any philosophy of nature, the time will be too short. So maybe in the January window, he might be able to have a bit of time to apply that. But also it will go with what kind of players has he got. What can he do? So he's still going through that assessment period. It's a very interesting point that you make as uh, Clunty now has to charge back in front of uh, Mokwana. And uh, well, finally, I'm not really sure that he needed to clear that Clunty. I, I think he might have overreacted because Mokwana's appeared to give it up. And at the same time, Clunty decided to take safety first. And I think he might have gotten away with the goal kick. I think he remembers way late that. Uh, might have come off uh, of his own player after doing so much in trying to protect the ball to roll out which is what I thought he wanted corners done well and defensively that's uh, nicely done by Pule Mori you made another suggestion and it and it was during our trip up from Johannesburg to Polokwane William about Kevin Johnson being in a caretaker role at the moment and uh, if he does as you have a look at Lechel and the whole of Siema, does he have the latitude then to request certain signings because he's, he's, he's not sure whether he's going to permanent appointment or not at, at, uh, at Amakoti. So how does that play out to the psychology of, of a massive club? In fact, that's a very big point you just made because how do you now start making um, plans to sign? How do you know if you're going to be there come the second part of the season? Those are all the questions that he has in his mind. But right now, I think what he's hoping for is just to keep winning and at least maybe he'll be given the chance to finish the season. That is first and foremost for him right now. Well, imagine winning four matches in a row and four clean sheets going into uh, a, uh, a break, an international break, and then picking it up again in the middle of uh, February next year and a run for four months to, to the championship. I mean, a victory today for Kaiser Chiefs takes him up to third place on the table potentially but they'd have to win by two goals to get above Cape Town City and Stellenbosch FC otherwise it's just uh, one position of Orlando Pirates but uh, yeah there are things to be gained and lost here by Kaiser Chiefs today and already <laughs> these uh, wins that he's been able to achieve already management are thinking we want the CAF position come end of the season you know and uh, for me, it's like a team that is dreaming. It's a team that has ambition to play at the same level. And I hope that's not going to start putting pressure on him because it's too, it's too early from where the team comes from. Foul by Ellis Makwana. Referee just with a little bit of a lecture. Mr. Pilangin Koti Kumalo. Pule Mori, Dupria. That's a nice bit of defending from Ryan Bartman. Suddenly the game opens up a little and Sekakuni United haven't had anything 
of an opportunity to test Bruce Bavuma for a little while. It's a rather silly challenge as well from Sekakuni United. Fitoli over the back of Yusuf Mart. By the way, Sekakuni is Mart's former team. And they won that game the platform to be seen. We saw earlier on when we were given possession statistics that it was 51 49 in favor of Kaiser Chiefs. Now it's 66 to 34 in favor of Amakos. And it exactly explains what had happened after those two close moments. The Antia Tia shot off the left hand upright of Bruce Bubuma's goal. And then that Dobe moment that uh, Bubuma had to clear off the line. Since then it's been all Kaiser Chiefs. Ketua will carry to Frosla. Dove with a little look up, a little run as well. Can't quite uh, thread the eye of the needle towards Gonzalez. Cut out by Mkise for Sega Kuni United. Sitole does battle with Mtetwa. Nice pickup again from Dupria. There seems to be a nice understanding between the kinds of cheese players. They seem to understand each other's roles specifically when uh, they're tracking forward and when they come back as well. They are playing as a unit. I'm quite impressed with what I'm seeing from Amakosi tonight. They'll be able to play with the ball. They'll also be able to play without the ball. Perhaps when we lose ball possession, you've got to be able to react in a certain way. So, and that has got to happen in the group tactics that are there in the field of play as a team. Sorry, William Mjetwa pushes forward and cleared by to Papua. Novo, Modi, Tetra. Nice little touches, not much in the way of penetration, and Sekakun United adequately defending against this Kaiser Chiefs side, who seem relentless at the moment. Might be not uh, the greatest of amount of pressure that's been exerted, and this could be a danger, you know, with Ohizu and his pace. Nicely defended by Dove and by giving him Simango. No problems for Bruce Vuma. That for me, what Nintendo has just done right now is very important. I think it's been key, in fact, into getting this uh, game back to Kaz in favor of Kaz Chiefs because in the past, I think they were playing at 100 Ks per hour and yet lost control. Gonzalez, was able to pull it back enough to Dupria. But if you are able to break the momentum every now and then just to uh, take stock of what you want to do, this is what Ntetra does help them to do. He, he's able to put the foot on the ball to say, OK, what's happening? What can we do? Tremendous play by both of the players out wide on the left-hand side, both Clunty and uh, Morty. Now the counter-attack will come. Should be easy for Trezor. Maybe even gets a foul from the challenge of the former Arrows winger, Pule Modi. Must have taken a touch. Yes, from Pule. Got the last touch. Mood is good in Naturena. Oh, he's here with a foul on Marx. Yeah, we in between Christmas and New Year. New Year's Day only two days away now. Niggly challenges from the Nigerian striker. William, have you uh, constructed your New Year's resolution or is there such a thing? <laughs> Dupria into the middle. Still an opportunity for Pule Mori. Pule is the trigger. Knocked away by Lina. Five minutes in stoppage time away from half-time in Pulukwani and Kaiser Chiefs on the side that continue to ask the questions.
really has been a half of uh, growing returns for Amakosi. No goals in the match, but uh, still, I think they'd be happy with the amount of possession. They're just about the conversion rate at the moment. Clunty, it's a good ball. Layback from uh, Dupria. Yusuf Mart was involved in there as well as Modi. And yeah, just the final touch eluded Gonzalez. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see Gonzalez make way for Saile at the start of the second half. Yeah, he needs, he needs a little bit more movement. Even if you don't get that much onto the ball, but you've got to avail yourself frequently for you to receive. Yeah, and I only say that because of maybe Saile, because of the, the length of time he's been at Kaiser Chiefs, will have a greater understanding in uh, what his teammates are trying to achieve. But yeah, Gonzalez still trying to fit into the structure of uh, South African football. The only challenge that comes with that is um, Saile doesn't play as a top man. And they'll have to now reshuffle the positioning around with maybe Dupria taking a more central striking role because Saile likes to stray a little bit wide to the right. Almost like in Suntuana for Richard Bay FC on the left-hand side, and uh, you were saying that it was impressive to see him playing a much more central role at but some stage for Richard Spey FC today in that fabulous victory of theirs. In the meantime, Mokocha, oh, it's a good header! It's better than good for Mokwana! That's a great goal. That's a beautiful header, yeah, because he's not even running into the ball. He almost like uh, comes from a reverse position, and but how he turns his head and powers that ball past the goalkeeper was the beauty of it against the run of play it must be said maybe Vumakov flatted flat footed a bit yeah first goal that uh, Kaiser Chiefs have conceded since the goal against Orlando Pirates in the derby look, look how it drifts into the inside now man man that is excellent how he turns his head slightly to let that ball just light passes it Maybe Dove could have been a little bit closer, but the pass, there's a lot that went right with this uh, movement. The ball hangs beautifully, with not a lot of pace about it, but it's how Mkwana turns around. Vuma might have seen very little of it before he could react. Great goal, nonetheless. Fabulous goal. Third league goal of the season for the 24-year-old. Formerly played in the first division of Platinum City Rovers in the Northwest Province. And the home fans have come alive. It is against the run of play, William Shongwe. But it is a goal that Sekakun United will relish and cherish. It is only their 13th league goal of the season. And uh, they now have a zero goal difference. But it would take them up to 20 points. Sekakun United. And potentially up to 10th place on the table. But uh, we're not even at half time yet, let alone in the second half. And yeah, this is the sort of pressure that Kevin Johnson would be expected to change around. In the meantime, Buzi Muzin Mube. Still Mube. Oh, it's great defending from Frosla. He showed patience and he showed perfect execution of defending the ball. One could say that the coach was unimpressed. Not at all. This is the thing. You play that well and you think you get this thing in control and then you get hit in that fashion. Certainly that is not a nice thing to happen. You're looking to go, you've prepared the talk going into the half. That changes. Absolutely. Sitole for the header coming from Mube. Much easier to defend this time from Amakosi. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a bit of a blow in a very crucial time of the match because we're only a few seconds away now from first half stoppage time in Pulukwani. No doubt Lechlin Holo Siema will be delighted. He'd be super delighted if he could get back to winning ways. The victory over certainly the most supported side in South African football. Only one minute added on to the end of the first half. Second, Cooney United lead by one goal to nil. And just, just what a blow that is and just shows the execution of Second, Cooney United, how beautiful it was from this man, Mokwana. 
getting away from Sofiso Khlanti. The delivery was perfect. His hang time was beautiful. His uh, pinpoint header was absolutely spot on. As was that challenge, by the way. That's a good steal. Brilliant. Good work done by Sipisekliam Kize, former Chippewa United midfielder. Yeah, as you say, William, uh, Kevin Johnson was preparing in one direction for the half-time chat, and yeah, I suppose he has to reorganise his thoughts. What well, another good ball in, you know, from Tia Tia, nearly finds Mokwana. Well, there will be some thoughts in the dressing room of Kaiser Chiefs of just how they managed to dominate possession with 66% at one stage during the first half. But they find themselves going into half-time, trailing by one goal to nil. And Tia Tia with a good match. Uh, but it's on the left-hand side where Sekakuni United have been impressive with Mobi and with Mokwana. Oh, he's who doing good work in the middle. I've been impressed with Kamahelo Sito. At the end of the match between Polokwani City and Mamelodi Sundowns today. And... How much possession did uh, Pulukwani City have? I think it was 33% or something in the yes. entire match. And yet they get away with a point against the Rampion champions, uh, champions of the African Football League and uh, competitors for the CAF Champions League title. And a really, really good side, Mamelodi Sundowns. But uh, Pulukwani City, with only 33% possession, steal a point. And that's uh, two matches now, two goalless draws, no goals, just one point apiece. So Tony's had a good match for Sekakuni United. Makwan has had a better one. Tony will continue. Kamahela Makocho. Lovely interchange of passes. Now the acceleration comes from Makwana. A really solid piece of defending though from Mtetwa. Plenty, I'm not sure that was the right pass. damage done however to Kaiser Chiefs would you would you suggest that Kaiser Chiefs continue to play the the way they did during the first half William with the exception of uh, taking more shots when they are in uh, important positions because Ronaldo Lina wasn't called into action that much was he you know that, that's exactly is the use of uh, creating the opportunities so that chances can be taken there is a chance now which takes a little bit of a deflection Away from uh, Ngobo. In fact, uh, the deflection must have come off his own player. Oh my word! Use the shot not, completely. Not even close. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I think uh, what what he wanted was to maybe allow the ball to slice the, the side of the boot so that it gets a spin but he, fought, he got it full on the laces. Don't forget, Mobile scored the only goal of the match against uh, Richards Bay FC in the previous encounter that Kaiser Chiefs were successful in. Forty from Mobile on Kize. No damage done, uh, both players accepting that it was one of those little football incidents. Now look at the press. I like uh, what Tessu Kuguna are doing in trying to basically force this type of errors from cheese, which is what we saw early in the first half. That's where those chances came from. Came from forced errors with Chiefs trying to force the build up from the back. Here's another. And nearly got themselves into trouble again. Came out this time. Mart Dupria. With a little run, that wasn't played into the right area, but Marty's the recipient, and you know he can shoot. That's what they have to do, Kaiser Chiefs. He's not doing enough of that. He's got incredible power, and uh, his long range uh, technique is beautiful. But uh, first of all, he fails to get that ball through for the runner and Dupria, but he gets a second bite of the cherry. And it doesn't get it right, but uh, way better than the first pass. Yeah, and it's better than we've seen from Kaiser Chiefs in some time. Not the build-up play, not the possession statistics, but actually coming up with shots. That's what they have to do. Clunty. No ball. 
Now they're biding their time. They've been quite patient, Kaiser Chiefs, and yeah, you know, one can understand why. Waiting for Saile to have his first decent touch on the ball. I like the way that uh, Dobe have been watching him particularly for one reason and that's his first touch sometimes you have a player and his first touch is a little bit uh, negative and he turns away back to his own goal with the first touch as uh, Nube tries to make a little dart nice cover from Bruce Pupuma but uh, Nilsson Dover has a, a very positive attitude Modi Planty Nice cover from Bartman. March to Modi. There's lots of space wide on the left-hand side if they need them, and Clunty's there. Good pinpoint ball towards the back post. Chance for Saile! If there's one thing that I've said about him is that he lacks the calmness in front of goal. Everything about him is all speed, even when he needs to take a breather and execute. He's all by himself. He's got hours between him and the defender coming to him, but he rushes it, the shot. And that's how he misses it. Perfect, perfect setup for the equalizer. Beautifully created. And it started with the substitution at half time. Saile for Gonzalez. And he missed it, William. <laughs> this one is unforgivable. This changes the picture altogether. If he scores it with the, the uh, approach to the game and uh, how they've been doing, basically, this would have worked so much in favor because they've still got control of the game. Now that ball goes in and it's a different game altogether. But it hasn't and it's not. <laughs> As if to stick the thorn even further deep into the flesh of the Chiefs fans watching it on. I'm sure they're saying, but we saw it, Kevin, so please. <laughs> I'm not telling you what my Twitter account <laughs> name is. I'm sure you know it anyway. Ronaldo Lina. It was a scary moment for Seca Kuni United, but uh, they've extricated themselves from it. Nice turn from Mube. He's been impressive tonight, Mube. Gets away from Yusuf March. Nice cover, though, from Dove. Fossler. Saile. March. Now switch play to Klanti again. I'm liking this little move, because this is where the opportunity for Saile came last time. They sucked the defence across. And there was a little bit of uh, ball watching from TRT, which gave the opportunity to Saile. I'm sure he'll be a little bit more watchful. Mart has taken up a position almost where Saile was earlier on. Dupree has done nicely. Clunty. Corner. Good cover by Moby. Much better from Clunty as well. You know, provides that that men run option uh, for the player on the ball. Ronaldo Lina does the repositioning of his defence. Ashley Dupreya. Just enough of a header on it. I think it was from Bartman. I like the way he's played today. Listen, he's on top of his game for me. Dover in a good position. Chibobo in a better one. Flicked away to Frostler by Nobo. Saile closed down rapidly by Mkise. It's on the way, uh, correct boot for Yusuf Mart. Saile, Bartman with all the time in the world. And Tetra beaten in the air as well. Dove comes to the rescue. Might have been a handball in there. I'm not sure if I saw a foul. And 
Mozambican is very, very upset. Did you see anything? Nope. Maybe you understand his concern yep. about the decision. Free kick taken by Bartman. Oh, Macron is in a good position. Dobe is even an, in a better one, though. Nice cover from Flanty. Flanty will get a second bite of the cherry here. He needs to just stand on it momentarily, he does. Wrong option from Mtetra. But having said that, there were three players on his left hand side, and nobody really pulling into the middle. And I'm not sure that Mtetra had uh, any really serious other options maybe he does now Mart Bove, Mart again Modi chase for Dupria but Bartman will win it haven't said the name of Uizu too many times in the second half still he's in the match though Signing challenge from Klanti kept in play by Mtetra and I thought McQuan had got away with it, but Mtetra's done rather nicely. Oh, Kaza Chiefs have been harried and hustled and hassled here by a very lively Sekakuni United looking side in the second half. This is Saile resuming his battle with Ntiatia. Mogo, Modi, Mart. I don't think he was uh, really anticipating the ball, Mart, but. Let's get hold of it now and over the top of Saile. No damage done. Frostler will pick up. Mobile. This is good constructive work being done by Kaiser Chiefs. What they need on the end of it is a tester for Ronaldo Lina. It's good play by Mobo. Better from Moby. Modi. Still Modi! High corner. Unfortunately, so with all the build up, with all the position, with all the neat passes, combination, beautiful, getting into the box, and yet when the Muet is the most, flies it over the bar. Love the way he sold a dummy to Nico Mobi. Hasn't scored a goal this season, and you go Moby. You can pardon uh, Modi. We can pardon, he scored two against Amazulu and one against Salambosh FC in consecutive matches, and then scored against Polokwane City as well. That's right. He's the top goal scorer at Kaiser Chiefs at the moment. And now we expect uh, some of the names like uh, Dupree to feature a bit more in that score sheet. And uh, yet it, it hasn't been the case. That for me is some of the players that you expect to be a little bit more into that space. It's not happening. It's coming from everywhere else except for the striking players. Makwana scored a goal just before half time. It was a beauty. And the pass from Mokocha. That for me is was the beauty part of it. I mean, he picked up as, as if it, he used his hand just to throw it into the head of Mokwana to head it. Beautiful. There's just there's just a whole lot of right about that move. There hasn't been some action for a little while because Ronaldo Lina has been receiving medical attention. Sekakuni United though lead at the hour mark by a goal to nil. Because the Chiefs have been industrious. We said that during the first half, nice build-ups. Good control over the possession. They have shown a little bit more urgency to test the 25-year-old Sekakuni United goalkeeper, Ronaldo Lina. Nothing to beat him just yet. And uh, you can tell most of the attempts that were made by Kyle Chiefs uh, were either on the side of the goalpost or over. I mean, there's one that I used to took from some distance, which 
was missed. And the one from Modi, a player that you can almost uh, at least uh, trust that uh, this can get it on target. Hasn't been happening. Oh, so Modi with a chance, Saili with a chance, Esteban after coming on. No, he's a has been impeded and uh, some gesticulations again from the Cartagena players Dover and Clanty towards the assistant referee Cledwin Baloy yeah they're feeling it they're feeling a bit of pressure here are oh, Kaiser Chiefs Dover with a yellow card maybe for over remonstrating he continues to be a bit emotional does the Mozambican first yellow card of the match But clearly, Clanty should uh, at least take responsibility because he doesn't jump and just nudges Ohizu as Ohizu dumps, which is a foul, clearly. Interesting free kick towards Bruce Pavuma from Kamahelo Sitole. Ah, Kaiser Chiefs on the counter attack. Only one yellow card tonight. Jim Frostler. Losing his way just a tad. There's plenty of potential and uh, energy expended in that a little move, and uh, finally Frostler couldn't link up with the Bomisenium Tetua. Only had the one change in personnel so far, and that was uh, Gonzalez making way for Saile, who had a fabulous opportunity. Mart can't uh, link up with Modi. Way by Chibaba, nice touch from Mokwana. It Milson stays away from Mokwana. Plenty. At some stage, the Amakosi supporters are going to start getting a little bit frustrated. It's based on years and years of success, the support base of Kaiser Chiefs, but they have had. Three victories in a row, all by a goal to nil after the loss against Orlando Pirates in the derby. Frostler turns one way, then the other. Finds support with Nwobo. Hasn't quite been the link I was looking for tonight. As Nwobo. Priya. Mm -mm, it's gone out of play. And it almost looks as if uh, the frustration has crept into the whole camp of Kaiser Chiefs because they've almost lost their continuity. We saw um, the team playing as a unit, almost gelling one little pass on, onto the other. And they were all understanding each other's gameplay at the moment. That just seems to have gone a little wayward. Well, he's looking for the intervention. Modi finding Mokocho. Way by Mobi. You 100% right as far as uh, the pressure creeping in, and and when that happens, uh, you you start rushing passes, you start focusing on the wrong things, and uh, you, as you could see, uh, some of the defenders were more concerned about the referee's decision, and you lose focus on your own game. That's when you need the leadership to say, "Calm down, let's just play the game." He's a Ohizu, nice little touch from him. Sitole, still Sitole, pulls the trigger. Ohizu is offside. Oh, there was so much potential in that counter. And with the defenders backing off him, giving him all the space to push forward. And I think at that stage he had decided that he wants to take a shot. Down the other side, Saile finds Marks. Oh, he gets behind the defence too, Marks. Pulemoti. Sifiso Clanti. Away by Trezo Yamba Chihuahua. They're having a good game. It's taking him time to settle into this Kukuni side. You'll remember his first game. Introduced. Didn't work out for him. Got two. Did, he made two bookable offenses and he got a red. And it took him time thereafter to be able to get back into action. <laughs> I remember that clearly. It was uh, yeah, rather unfortunate for the man from the DRC. Marks gets ball and Bartman at the same time. 
Nice cover from uh, Kamahelo Sitole. And TRT has got to be awake here, and so for that matter is Ronaldo Lina. Yeah, it's interesting. The uh, competition in the CAF Confederation Cup for Sekakuni United. Because they have uh, two matches remaining in their quest to make it into the knockout stages, the quarterfinals. Having already lost to Oris Bukan from Morocco away from home, beating Dro uh, Diable Noir at home. And then a goalless draw against Stade Malien at home and a, a loss against the Malian side away from home by a goal to nil. So there's work to be done, but still potential for coach Siema to finish second in uh, Group D. Here's my question for you. Is it worth the chase? Well, I, I had a look at that and, you know, one has to look to recent history and uh, Marumo Gallants when they made it to the semi-finals of the CAF Confederation Cup and were relegated from the South East Premier League alongside Maritzburg United last season. There might have been other factors involved in that. I'm sure if you had a conversation with Dylan Kerr, you'd have a lot to say as well. The coach at the time and some of the players maybe. But um, now, do Sekakuni United then risk making the uh, knockout stages and going even further? I mean, the campaign in the Cup Confederation Cup resumes on the 25th of February against Ores Bukan. That's a home match. But the Moroccan side are a good outfit. Dupree is a good player. Saile, Modi, Lobo. Oh, that deflection could have gone anywhere from uh, Yamba. Yes, yeah, Saile. Every time he comes in, he does really lift the game one way or the other. And which is what he has done here. But now we need him a, a little bit more central where he can use his power to get the goalkeeper. Five corners apiece. So Kuhn United lead by a goal to nil. We're halfway through the second half here in Bulukwani. Final match of the year being played up in the Limpopo province. The only other match remaining is down in Cape Town. Enter away came from uh, Sitole. In fact, it was from Ohizu. Nube against some Tetra. I think he chose the wrong option. Oh, no, he was fouled by the former Stellenbosch FC player. The fans from Chiefs aren't happy. And Tetra is certainly not happy. Waves away, does uh, the match referee. The attempts of remonstration from the former TX Galaxy man, given to Mango, again, you know, looks upset. That's a foul, no doubt. Yeah, I don't think there will be too many complaints about that. In the meantime, uh, there are some changes to come for Sekakuni United. So Busi Musi Nube is going to come off and Tamsankra Masia, the former Swallows and Baraka player, is going to come on his place. And another player who's coming on is this man, Lechloho Nolo Mjali, who's a central defender. So Nube off and Makocha off. Hmm. Refreshing that middle. And you know what Masia can, can do. He is very quick. And he's forever showing defenders his pair of heels uh, with his pace down the right inside of the field. Very, very interesting. 20 minutes remaining in stoppage time. Hmm. Not a great work done by Sipusake Tia Tia. You know what's interesting, William Shonga, is that this is the. Uh, Fourth match in a row for Kaiser Chiefs against most recent NFD winners. Winners from the uh, Motepe Foundation Championship. The Swallows won the title in uh, 2019, 2020. Uh, then Polokwane City 22-23, Richards Bay FC 21-22. Now Sekakuni United, who were champions in uh, 21. So 
four former champions and most the most recent champions of the first division in consecutive matches. I'm not sure if I've ever seen that before. <laughs> and they've won three of them. <laughs> they've got some work to do to win against four of them. Osaka Kuni United going to spoil that record for Kaiser Chiefs tonight. Curious stuff. Having said all of that, uh, Kevin Johnson still has uh, a wonderful record in the matches that he's uh, been in charge of in the Premier League. Four wins out of six matches, two losses, plus two goal difference, 12 points. In the previous nine matches, there's only been 11 points. Hmm. So in six matches, he's scored more points vast improvement. than in uh, nine matches of the previous coaches. Yeah, so the, yeah, the, the, there's potential and hope and, and certainly uh, Kaiser Chiefs would do well to stick with uh, the coach. Now, Tetris making way here for some Kelo Zwani, 21-year-old coming from the junior ranks who comes on for the sixth time this season. He's quite an interesting player, Zwani. Got a bit of pace about him. He's got a big responsibility now for sure. Nifty as well, if you know what I mean. He's very sweet when he starts moves and uh, uh, his passes, one of those uh, intelligent passes and given the opportunity is one that uh, makes you can come with the killer pass and i think from that point of view they need him a bit more coming with those incisive passes to find the runner in this case to prayer and uh, saile yeah the matches nicely balanced at the moment and uh, sekakuni united We'll be looking to hold on to this one. Was, was that a yellow card? It looked like yeah, the referee has got his uh, yellow card out here. Man, who's just come onto the field of play? Charlie, the 29-year-old, former Cosmos and All-Stars, but I'm not sure. What is that for? It's got a yellow anyway. I think it's his first contribution of the match, picking up a yellow card. Curious. Plenty. Modi. With Milton. Modi is in a bit of space and needed the acceleration, didn't get it initially. Dupria with a nice touch. With that deflection again. They, they are creating opportunities, Kaiser Chiefs. The amount of deflections we've spoken about has been quite curious and none of them have been near the goal of Ronaldo Lina. Whether that's good fortune or good defending, you make up your mind. Ball with a deflection that time around and uh, another corner kick to Dupria. Near post, Yamba clears or was it Ohizu? Consecutive corners for Chiefs who will stay on the attack. Here with a measured approach here. Again he goes near post, again it's Ohizu will clear. Modi will chase, March closest to him. March pointing up the field of play for somebody to make a run. Simango stayed forward by the way for Kaiser Chiefs, but he's not going to make any contact there. Away by Ntia Tia. And Sekakuni United at the moment doing all the right things. They have had nine shots on target tonight despite only one conversion into uh, what really matters and that is on the scoreboard plenty and again it's just uh, not working out yeah and Kelo Zwani unable to pick up and uh, good pressure by Tamsan Kamasia big kicks gone the way of Chiefs we're about to make a couple of changes <laughs> So it looks like uh, that challenge uh, could have gone either way, I think. But uh, Ashley Dupree is not going to take any further part of this match. The Boko Potsani is going to come on. So Dupree and uh, Kortin Kupilin Mobile will make way. I've always called him Chibaviro. I know that uh, some people call him Chibaviro. Potsani are on. Now the departure of... Uh, 
to Priya makes a lot of sense for me. I mentioned him not being the biggest, uh, whether he'll play that top line position as a striker, but bringing Shibabiro almost in the same cut as Gonzalez, meaning that uh, he will allow Chiefs uh, to hold the ball. Even if the long pass is played deep, he has the ability to hold. But the first touch almost immediately gets a corner, definitely immediately, and his contribution, the 31 year old who played at Vendor Football Club and the Maruma Gallants. Plays for the 11th time this season. He's fourth as a substitute. Shiva Viro is an imposing figure. Kaiser Chiefs have uh, gone ahead in the corner count. It was five all a little while ago. Now they have eight. The other side asking questions. One can never root out Kaiser Chiefs from drawing blood. But they need to now, sooner rather than later, one feels. Again, it's to the near post, and again, Ohizu. That's three times in a row. The same corner, the same man defending. The Nigerian stays down for the moment. Mokwana goes across to help his fellow attacker to his feet. Attacker stroke defender, as he is at the moment, Ohizu. This time it's uh, Yamba who makes the clearance. Makwana with a touch. Chiefs will stay on the attack. Saile lost out to Nchali. Now Saile, a little bit of a buzz of Saile. And picks the ball up. There's an opportunity for Tiboko Potsani. Been one of those nights, isn't it? Yeah, a bit of rush of blood that must be said from Zwani. I think from that range, you're very speculative and ambitious of him. This is a great opportunity for Dupria. That one was punched away by Ronaldo Lean in the first half as well. This was a really, really good opportunity, and that one from Modi as well. One of the coach is emotional. Yeah, these are some of the emotions that went through. Um, Chiefs showing a lot of frustration. Are those uh, eyes teary or am I seeing things? <laughs> That's, the game is far from over. And already, looking at those uh, faces, uh, there's, there's, they're saying, look, we're losing this game. Uh, there's some resignation from uh, Moreke.gp. Now, it's tough being a supporter when you have no control. In the meantime, man who could consolidate matters and even provide a lot more creativity. Jamie Weber comes on for a man who's been very impressive in my opinion. I thought Kamahelo Satoli's had a wonderful game. Yes. Still 11 minutes in stoppage time, William. Away from full time and away from the end of the action for 2023 for both sides. Free kick for Chiefs. An opportunity to push some uh, players with aerial presence. Some from the defense, Mr. Mao is one of them. And uh, Shivavero has added that aerial presence. Let's look at what the deliver is going to be like. Modi, the man to deliver. There's a touch from Saili. Defensively, though, Charlie gets behind the ball, back inside from Yusuf Mart. It's a great opportunity and a fantastic strike. Ranga Shubabiro scored his second goal of the season. It's a really, really good strike. Worthy of being in the Kaiser Chiefs jersey, worthy of an equaliser. That should set the thing alive now for the final 10 minutes. Great goal. I think they've had better. Uh, opportunities to be able to score from and this was the most difficult almost like a hot volley type of a ball 
and he got it so perfectly. And I don't even think Linda expected the shot of that nature could be taken on the drop. Whoa, wow, that's a beauty. Now, that's the type of striker that you need. The one that need, doesn't need the ball to be placed properly. Anything that will go in that direction. Wow. Look at the curl on that one. Oh. Ranga Chibafiro. His second, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the last time he scored was against Cape Town Spurs. Castillo and Saili the other goals on the 8th of November. And here, six weeks later, maybe seven, Chibafiro grabs the equaliser. For Kaiser Chiefs now what do we expect in the next 10 minutes Modi it was a lovely little deflection from Saile that uh, the pass of the ball to Chivavira but the execution oh was pinpoint perfect that fan liked it as well a little from those uh, crying moments regretting the possible results uh, to what you see now they've finally gotten the energy back that's the beauty about this game. It's never over till the fat lady sings. Chibaviro. Referee spotted an infringement a bit further down the pitch that he blew for. It's naughty from Aquana. My book, it's uh, the yellow card, but uh, the referee hasn't brandished one. Both goals tonight, William. I've had a bit of quality about them, haven't they? Yes, yes. The header and this long range have volley. Three minutes before the end of regulation time in the first half for Makwana. Ten minutes before the end of regulation time for the substitute Shiva Viro, who's uh, trying to impede Yamba. Offside against Masia. Assistant referee Kevin Baloy. Yes. Zimango finds Frosler. Saile, it's a lovely turn. Goes all the way from Ntia Tia. Bartman there. Bartman knocks him over. No says the referee. Not interested in that one. Signals to the man from the Democratic Republic of Congo to get back to his feet in the meantime. It's a good challenge in there as well from Sefiso Khlanti. He might have injured himself in the challenge with Masia. Yeah, it's all getting a little energetic out there. It might have been a little arm outstretched by Bart, but I don't think it would be enough to convince uh, re the referee of a penalty. Mm. Mm. That, from that angle, it looks a little bit more enthusiastic from Bartman, to be honest. It wasn't enough, though. It wasn't enough for Mr. Kamalo to point to the spot. Plenty about to make his return to the field of play. Will Kaiser Chiefs be happy with the point? That'll keep them in sixth position on the table because there are two points behind Orlando Pirates on the DSTV Premiership log. The sides by the end of uh, tonight would have played 16 matches. The two Suedo Giants that are in the top half of the table. Oh dear. Kaiser Chiefs could get themselves in trouble here. It was nearly. A good intervention from Jamie Weber. And they've got numbers forward. Oh my word. How close was that from Ohizu? It's the goalkeeper Vuma, who I think had no business trying to play it. It's a dangerous ball. You're playing it in a clustered area and in the more central position. Those are the very difficult ones. If you uh, lose position, you can be punished immediately. Both sides want to win this one, it's very clear. Sufisake and Tia Tia.
Five minutes in stoppage time away from uh, full time in Bulukwani. And when the action resumes, it'll be for both sides on Tuesday, the 13th of February. For Sekakun United, it'll be away against uh, Matatante Pittori. Super Sports United for Kaiser Chiefs, it'll be at home against uh, the Rockets TX Galaxy, who they don't have a great record against. And we're not only talking about the Netbank Cup final in 2019. Down a bit of a bogey side, TX Galaxy, for guys that just don't continue rubbing salt into the wound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, man. That is a nightmare of a memory to remember. Every Chiefs fan is trying to stay away. It's time to say it. It heads very deeply. They've got themselves out of a position where they were staring down the barrel of their first loss in four games and. Uh, themselves in a position where they can at least take a point out of this one and 10 points in four matches I don't think is a bad uh, return they want more they are a glamour side Pozzane Mobby's done nicely Masia Clancy for Kaiser Chiefs Modi now Zwani Chibaviro Frosla Saile Waiting in the area, show Shivira for their match. And I thought Bartman had done rather well on the Kaiser Chiefs substitute. A little bit more quiet now in the Sekikun United camp and a little bit more upbeat from Amakosi support. You've got to be impressed about the people that came. I mean, beginning of this game, this stadium was like maybe three quarters empty. But look at the turnaround. Like you said, people will continue to come. Well, he's over enthusiastic in the challenge on Simango. Let me take this opportunity to uh, wish you fair tidings. And uh, when it comes to uh, Sunday night, Happy New Year. And uh, may all your dreams come true and work hard. But uh, have fun. Love your family and. Uh, everybody around you and uh, yeah, do your best I think that's that's uh, all that can be asked I suppose indeed indeed Chibaviro it's a nice little knock on from him Frostler not able to make it count Bartman will clear Kazuchi supplying all the pressure at the moment Saile, Frosla. Just for a moment, Chibaviro and uh, Mart get in each other's way. To the final minute of regulation time. Sekakuni United won, Kaiser Chiefs won. It'll be a goal kick to Bruce Bavuma. Oh, there's, oh, there are some smiles around on the pitch. Look by the look of things. Has the Chiefs looking for a winning goal here? There's a slip in defense. Oh, the uh, foul against Saile will come to the rescue of Second Cuny United. Smile on the face of the man from the Congo. Four minutes added on. We are in stoppage time. Now I'm trying to look at what did Saile do wrong here. Oh, maybe a little bit of the shove. Yes. With his elbow. That definitely came to the rescue of uh, Sikukune. But with the four teams having played this well, it always feels so unfair if one of them just get the edge of the opposition at times like this.
Time is not a friend of Kaiser Chiefs at the moment. It's not a friend of Kikakuni United either, but they are on the attack. They do have a free kick here to Babina Noko. Would they be happy to end 2023 with a draw? That will uh, take them up to 12th place, incidentally, above Royal AM and uh, Chippy United on goal difference. It'll be a good platform for Lechle Noholo Siema, the coach, come 2024. In the meantime, though, oh, that's great wow. pressure on the far oh, post. Oh. And that's oh, so close. So close. To a winning goal. Listen, this man has been brilliant today. Trezor Chihuahua for me. Mm. He's really... He's put his hand up, hey? You know? Oh, goodness. Not only offensively, but he's won most of the headers that came his way. Moby. Mokwana trying to turn Clanty. bit of emotion spit over here Clanty's not amused Makwana either They're trying to calm things down out there Yusuf Marks to the four this is how it all started between Clanty and Mokwana a little bit of a hip throw maybe and then the retaliation immediately from the left back of Kaiser Chiefs Botsane for Kaiser Chiefs. Makwana playing from deep. Oh, Makwana's done well to hang on to this one. Modi comes away with it. One minute remaining for Kaiser Chiefs to rescue this. Modi, look at the defense. How many players are lining up there? Mart lines up. Saile lines up. Still Saile. Oh, the sting taken out of the ball by Yamba. Chibuabwa. Tia Tia. Wide play by Charlie. Surely there's only one final opportunity left for Kaiser Chiefs, William. I mean, if it remains a draw, I'll, for me, from my point of view, I think it will be a fair result because I've thought both teams uh, played to win, but it didn't quite happen that way. But uh, there was a lot of intent from both sides to want to make the game out of this. Yeah, there's a free kick for Kaiser Chiefs that's been given by referee Kumalo. Can, uh, is it in Tia Tia that got involved over yeah. the top of Tule Modi? Reckless, if I may say. That hand over Modi's uh, head. The jump, no problem, but the, the hand. There's a hero potentially in the waiting here, in the wings for Kaiser Chiefs with him. Yusuf, who, take, who takes it? Yusuf Mart. Hmm. He's closest to the action. Whether he'll be brave enough to do so is the question. Siema wide eyed. There's only one thing he can do, rely on his defence and his goalkeeper. In the meantime, Kevin Johnson will pace and hope that uh, one of his players can deliver the crucial blow. Will it be Chiba Biro? Will it be Marks? Well, even Ross Ross yeah, he's a left-footed option, you know. Understandably, Ronaldo Lina is concerned. Messia drops behind the wall. To prevent anything uh, as a daisy cutter for Kaiser Chiefs. Way over the additional time, but ref has to make sure that he adds all the stoppages. Who are they rooting for? Right, who's over the ball here? I think it's Chiba Vira on one side and uh, Clanti. 
Plenty on the other. March is over the ball as well. Frostler is giving some ideas. This surely has to be the final moment of the game. We're already six minutes into second half stoppage time. So whatever happens in this one, I think it's game over. And it has been entertaining, William. Listen, for me, that's why I don't mind this result for both sides. They gave it the all. Very impressive to finish the year. So, how does this one end? Chibapiro! Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> Imagine the weight and the anticipation and it all boils down to nothing. But look, he, Scott, he did the most important thing today is give Cheese the equalizer. Coach Yema has won one and, and lost one this season. He's got his first draw of the campaign. In fact, in the history between these two sides, it is the first time they've ever played to a draw. And uh, unlike in 2021-22 where Chiefs did the double and 22-23 when Sekakudi United did the double over Kaiser Chiefs. There will be no double this year, although Kaiser Chiefs will have the bragging rights with four points with a win and a draw. But uh, good credit to Sekakudi United for their half-time lead and good credit to Kaiser Chiefs for their fight back and uh, to get a point. Both quality goals from Aquana and Shiva